Hi, my name is Peterson Toscano. I'm an XK survivor, and I often joke about my experience in programs like Love in Action. But um, there are some really hard things that I went through, um, and not just me, but also my parents. So in this video, I want to talk a little bit about that. There are a lot of ex-gay theories out there about what makes a person gay, and many of them have to do with your parents. I mean, so many of us heard teachings like, well, you had an overbearing mom and a, a distant dad. And uh, Love in Action, every few months, they would have Family and Friends Weekend, when family and friends were strongly encouraged to attend uh, for the weekend. And the first day was a seminar for them to hear about all of the issues. My parents never forced me to attend an ex-gay program. In fact, years later I found out they were quite disturbed that I was in one, but they went along with it because it's what I wanted. So they came to Memphis for the Family and Friends Weekend, and the first day they heard all about family dysfunction and all of these theories about how a kid becomes gay. And immediately they, well, get to that later. Another thing that happens during Family and Friends Weekend is all of the participants have to put together an introduction. This is a story about a time when we hit rock bottom in our sexual immorality, as they put it. So we had to call our pasts to find the most embarrassing, shameful sexual encounter that we ever had. And we put it together in a story, taking out some of the salacious details, but getting to the crux of it, you know, basically saying we were out of control, crazy, we fit, we fit the profile of what they, you know, considered the crazy gays and the gay lifestyle. And then in front of our parents, our friends, pastors, brothers, sisters, and a whole bunch of strangers, we each had to stand up and tell that story. And of course at the time I thought about how traumatic it was for me, and it was. It was so unbelievably shaming. It, 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 it so drove down, it just said, you're, 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 look at how awful you are. But I, I didn't think about it until years later of how it also affected my parents uh, the whole weekend. You know, I after I came out as uh, gay and I accepted myself and um, and I began processing my experience through my play, I, um, I talked to my sister and I talked to my parents about that time. My And my little sister, Maria, she, um, she said, you don't know this, but when mom and dad came back from that weekend, they were devastated. They... Um, they were depressed for weeks. They couldn't eat. It was like a light went out of their eyes. She was so concerned that she actually called the program and asked, what did you do to my parents? I talked to my dad not too long ago about the experience and asked him what it was like. And, and he said, well, you know, basically they, they made it seem like we were to blame. I mean, that's the, the impression that he got, and he said many of the other parents got, that it was all their fault, that they screwed up. And um, in September of 2006, my mom passed away, um, and uh, before that I got to talk to her and write her a really good letter, just letting her know she wasn't to blame. You know, it wasn't her fault that I was gay. There was nothing wrong with me being gay. And that um, that those teachings that she heard weren't true. And I'm hoping she really heard that, but she wrote me a letter shortly before she passed away that expressed, still expressed some doubt. Like, I hope I was a good enough parent. Doubt that I know goes back to that weekend when professionals quote unquote told her that she failed as a parent 
They, yeah, they didn't use those exact words, but the message came through loud and clear. You failed your child. And for people who are so interested in family values, I have seen wedges driven between kids and their parents because of these teachings. And uh, it's wrong. It's cruel. Really, it's just, it's just really awful. So I'm wearing this t-shirt because it was my mom's favorite t-shirt that I would wear. And I'm thinking about her today um, and thinking about what a tough woman she is and how courageous she was as a parent and hoping that other parents don't get sucked into the same lies and myths and bogus theories that they can see things clearly and um, would not let fear and shame clog their brains like it did to me and to so many others and to so many parents. Mm -hmm.